Hey everybody, welcome back to the Flower Gold Wizard Channel. I'm Jason. That's Rigby and Rex, my mining partners. Today we're going to work an alluvial fan, so to speak. It's where a part of the creek system is really narrow and a lot of fast moving water goes through it. And then it opens right on up into a great big alluvial fan, so to speak. <laughs> the water slows down and it allows that gold to fall out of the fast moving water. Also, there's a little bit of a waterfall right where the alluvial fan, so to speak, begins. Let's take a little look around. Yep, it's still a little bit chilly around these parts here. The water is just starting to turn liquid again, and we're ready to roll. But I'll show you what I was talking about now. This creek's coming down and around. It's got some wide little bends and whatnots, but it turns into a little chute right here. It's only about... I don't know, that might be five or six feet wide right there at the most. And this, all the water coming down through here, even in flood stage, you know, it's really cramped into this small area. I'm sure it goes up and over that. Matter of fact, I've seen it, but for the majority of the year, it's running right through here. But look what happens right here. I mean, you couldn't draw this any better. Let me see if I can get out there on this shelf. Let me get my tree here. There we go. Bust that right off. We'll get down in the water. Okay. Now right at the end of the chute right here, there's a monster log and that's been there a mighty long time. And I have dug behind it in the past. And I, matter of fact, I've got my largest piece of gold out of here right from behind that log. But that was back in the day when we really didn't know a whole lot about gold mining. I mean, we knew enough to get going, right buddy? <laughs> But uh, I, I like to think that uh, we've upped our game a little bit. So I'm going to move back down from that waterfall just a little bit. And there's all kinds of awesome gravels working around in here. Matter of fact, we'll take a little look at them with this here underwater camera. Ooh, -wee. Now, it's not too darn deep right in these ear areas. Matter of fact, it just barely goes over my ankles. But up near, right on the back side of this here log, it's a couple of feet deep. Let's see if we can't show you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I tell ya. Up on the front, it's a little bit deeper too. That's right. <laughs> So let's see if we can't scrape up a little bit of gold out of this alluvial fan, so to speak. Let's take a little look at some of the gear we brought along today, these handsome devils. I brought my big sluice along today, that's right, 10 inches wide, 3 feet long. Brought some bobo links, a little nectar, I got my big old VDR mat right here. Those things work really well. Got a pan, my homemade classifier here. AKA the best class fire in the whole wide world. I have a video on it. <laughs> a bucket and a tub. Now I'm going to fill that tub up. Uh, I can get probably three five gallon pails in that tub. And then I'll fill my pail up before we start running that sluice. I want to run as much material over it as I can. And I brought my duffel bag. And Rigby's pink blankie. <laughs> Now there are a few minor things that you'd probably want to think about before you started doing this. For instance, put your tub, like that one right there, pretty close to where you're going to be sluicing. Because once you fill that baby up, it's going to be heavy, <laughs> let me tell you. Now I'm 942 years old, I'm not lifting that thing. And we are ready to roll. First thing you want to do, fill your pail up about half, three quarters away with the water. It's nice warm spring water. Just like that, find a nice flat spot, begin digging. <laughs> All right, now here's a look at our material right here. It's mixed with some pretty good sized cobbles in there. You're gonna find a lot of those on top as the water washes over them and moves all the, all the lighter sand and debris. And then you get down into your gravels right here. Now this is all gonna be granitic sands and whatnot. 
but there is gold mixed in with it. You just stick that right on in there. Swirl it around. That stuff goes right through a screen like this, piece of cake. You can fill up buckets pretty quick. So let's get to it. Well, who would have thought you'd see that around here? The mighty glacier calving. Big ice shell fell off of it, so to speak. Well, we're still grinding away here. I'm just taking a little bit of a breather. Just watching all the cavitation here from the ice, ice shelves. <laughs> it's like Godzilla breaking everything. These guys are hard at it. Look at this guy up here. He's hard at it so to speak. You know what? We never did a darn test pan. I've got a bucket in my tub already, but we always got to do a test pan. So I'm going to, and this test pan is dedicated to my new friend, William. Him and his parents came to see me at work last week or so. They brought me some darn beef sticks. Cool guys, I tell you what. So if we find some gold in here, William, this one's for you. There's a nice big fat shovel full. You know what? Let's do it again. Let's pull that out. We'll get a big heaper. There. All right. Let's see what's in it. All right. Here's that big old heaper right now. We'll go ahead and take our time a little bit. Looks like Rex wants to help. You see anything, buddy? Oh, he's got himself a rock. <laughs> Is that a Crescelli rock? Okay. Let me pull some of them larger bits out. I know you guys are thinking, how can you get put your hands in that ice water? Well, Wisconsin is known for notoriously warm ice water. That's how. There we go. That's, this stuff is mighty easy to pan. Just got to take your time a little bit because the gold's so darn small. Let me get some of them bigger bits out again. And we've just about got this. There we go. All right. Well, I hope there's something in there. All right, let me pull that back. I'm going to find somewhere in the sun I can see. We'll see if there's any gold in it. Well, by golly, there is a few pieces in there. Let me get my finger down in there. Eh? You focusing? They're awful small. I see those tiny little eensy weensy dots right there. There's another little one. That's gold. <laughs> Extremely small. But gold does get smaller than that, believe it or not. So those are actually Wisconsin nuggets so to speak. All right, well, that was fun. Let's get back to the grind. Yeah. Now that looks cozy with a capital K. Got him. Well, it's just about go time. I've got my tub all filled up. I've got a full bucket. I've got my sluice set up, so to speak. I brought some legs along with today, kind of wondering if I would have to do this, and I'm glad I did. I can move that bottom end up and down all I want. And that log right there, I've got a rock under the top end. I might have to find one a little bit bigger. That's a lot of water going through there, but we'll see. Test, test, test. So I'll grab a big old pile of this here. And we'll throw it on there. Let's see what happens. That doesn't look too bad at all. I tell you what. See how it's just kind of moving off there real slow? The gold will stick to that mat right there, and I'll be able to see if I'm shoveling gold on there. And uh, the material down in here in these riffles, 
It's dancing around real nice, and this is really light material right here we're shoveling on there. So I think we're in the we're in the business. Otherwise, all that light stuff would have washed right off of there. All right, so now that we are set up, that didn't take long at all. Only 44 years. So now that it's kind of a relatively slow time, I have all that uh, material ready to go. I can do all that with one hand. We're going to have a little bit of a snack, maybe crack a cold brew, and get to feeding. That's right, it's snack time. Today's snack time is brought to you by Bobo Lynx. 100% grass fed. These beef sticks are awesome. My boys love them. That's right, there you go. Yeah, have a snack. Yeah, they need that. They're hard working miners. Well, I'm a pretty hard working miner too. Uh -huh. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Well, it actually turned out to be shallow enough here. I can slide my tub right over here. I mean, it doesn't get any more relaxing than this. Beautiful weather. It's got to be 31, 32 degrees. Uh, a little warm for my blood, <laughs> but God darn it, what a day. This is absolutely relaxing, therapeutic, and fun. <laughs> And we did spot our first piece of gold. Let's see. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> God darn it, it was right there. But the, this top riffle right here and this one here washing out just a little bit, just because of the way the materials come or the water's coming off my my flare sides right there. But everything down here is holding on to material, and I'm 100% positive that piece of gold just flipped up and over, and it's in here somewhere. So we're good to go. I know we're shoveling gold. I've seen a few specks land on my indicator mat there. Uh, but mostly we're just having a blast. Rigby's still hard at it up there. <laughs> yeah. Rex Aroni, he's around here somewhere. There he is, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Big handsome devil. Awesome video update. I ran that whole tub over there. I still have that five gallon pail to run. And I thought I saw what I believe to be a big piece of gold. So I snuffered it up and there it is. Look at that. That is a big old piece right there. Big flat flake, I can feel it. <laughs> oh doggy, that's exciting right there. Now I didn't want to put it on camera, me snuffering up another thing I thought was gold and turned out not to be gold. So I did it off camera. Well, look at that. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Oh, come on, get focused. What's going on here? Let's see if I can get that down into three. Kablamo, look at that. Big old Wisconsin flake right there. Ooh wee. That thing is as big as a darn pie plate, so to speak. That baby was sitting right in that riffle right there right in that empty riffle all by itself now, actually there was one little black pebble that i got out of there with it but pretty much all by itself so i got really really high hopes for this stuff it's really packing up with black sand nicely just the way it should be uh, i've got a little bit less pitch on here than i typically would but i have more water more water less pitch is just as good maybe even better than less water more pitch so i'm gonna Run this here, five gallon pail. That's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Grab some of that there. We're gonna feed some more on there. How awesome is that? <laughs> all right, we've got all five of my pails run through this baby. It's jet black, jet black. And I've got high hopes for this. So I'm gonna put this in my five gallon pail. We're actually gonna bring this back to the shop over by the Fridge of Wonder. So we can process material in a little bit more of a controlled environment. Typically I'd like to pan it out here just to see some gold. But God darn it, that big flake has me excited. And I want to make sure I don't make any mistakes. So we're going to get this stuff back and classify it and run it over our cleanup sluice and all the stuff like that. So let's go ahead and pick this baby up. Throw it right in there. 
We'll just slide that right down and out of there. Just like that. Oh, get in there, you. We got it. We got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice and clean. Now it's not a whole lot of material. It's probably about, uh, it's a cup and a half or so. This mat holds on to quite a bit, but uh, I got good feelings about this stuff. So we're gonna pack up our gear, make the 265,000 mile ride back, so to speak. And make sure we give this awesome view a little kiss goodbye. Mwah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's just like summer out here, so to speak. And bam, just like that TV magic, we're back. Here's all my concentrates right here. Big old mushy pile of black jet black sand right there hopefully chock full of gold but first things first we got to get a little something out of the fridge i wonder uh oh look at a little bear in there <laughs> there we go first beer of the day well so to speak all right first thing we did is i removed all the cons from that big bucket and put them in this little blue pan like i said it's probably a cup or maybe a cup and a half of material but it'll be a little bit easier to maneuver into my classifiers out of this smaller container right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump it right in my uh, classifiers here. We're going to, it's just so much easier to get gold out of material. It's all the same size. The golden rule. If everything's the same size, gold wins. There we go. Just about got it. Perfect, it's in there. And then, and now that it's all in there, we'll just go ahead and add some water. Let that baby roll roll on down. I've got, what do I have on there? I have 30, 40, 50, 60, and 110. Let's we'll go ahead and give that a little shimmy. Just like that there. Oh yeah, that works well. I'm gonna do that one more time. Just to make sure, because there's so much darn material in here. Just jet black. Want to make sure it goes all the way down. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> I do believe we have it. All right, I'll just continue that right on down the line. Down our classify list here. All right, we've got them all classified down to their appropriate size. And it looks like the majority of that material was this larger stuff uh, that would not go through the 30 mesh. And that kind of leaves me with small amounts of the small stuff. <laughs> this being the smallest right here, the stuff that went through the 110 mesh or 100 mesh, whatever that thing is. So I think we're just going to pan these out separately. Rather than fire up a, a cleanup sluice for this little a bit here, I mean, this is only about uh, maybe a tablespoon of material here. It looks more than it is. It's extremely fine black sand, but we should be able to manage. So let's go ahead and we'll pan this one back. And uh, this one will also be probably the hardest one, just because that black sand is so fine. Uh, but we'll take our time, go through it, see what we wound up with. And Kablamo, TV magic. We have all the smaller than 110 stuff done. That's all gold. Every single one of those little dots right there is gold. Get focused, you. With a couple of larger ones that made it through. But that's a good amount of pieces right there. I bet you there's 100, maybe 200 pieces in there. Extremely small. And I can almost guarantee that I would not have captured... All those little teeny weeny, teensy, weensy little dots right there. If I didn't classify that stuff first. So let's go ahead and move on to our next size up. 
Here's my snuffer with our giant nugget in there. <laughs> we'll go ahead and snatch this stuff on up. Got it. Here's our 60 mesh gold, one piece. But a few more of those eeny weeny teensy tiny little dots showed up. Uh, they're just so darn small, it's probably just tough clearing all that stuff out. But I'll take them. So I'll go ahead and snuff for this stuff on up, just like that. We'll move on to our 50. Nothing in the 50. Nothing in the 40. Come on. Well, I was just about to do the 30, and I realized I never did the stuff that went, that did not go through the 110. <laughs> God darn it, but I see gold already. <sighs> and here it is. Well, there's a few pieces in there for sure, along with a couple of those micro dots that just seem to stick to everything. But we'll go ahead and snatch them on up too. Mm -hmm. There we go. We got them. All right, now on to our, our largest classification right here. I got high hopes, man. Well, it's not the bonanza I was looking for, but we did get another pretty good size flake right there and a little dirty one. It's kind of chunky. Let me wipe my finger and put that in a three one time. See how nice and, well, come on, you get focused. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. But there's another, another nice flake and a little chunker. Got a couple more little tiny dots that came out of that stuff and, and a couple pieces of lead here and there. A little lead shot. So let me get this stuff all in a one pile and we'll take a look at it. And here it is in this giant pan right here. <laughs> well, we didn't do too darn bad. That's the chunkiest gold I have ever gotten in one at one time in that spot right there. I couldn't be happier. This one here, you can feel, I can feel all three of them. Absolutely. Can I pick it up? Eh. Yeah, I can't quite pick it up, but they're chunky. Look at that. Let me see if I can three that one. Kaboing. Kind of, that one there is pretty darn dirty looking, but we got a couple of shiners. Lots and lots of specs. I couldn't be happier. Hot diggity dog. We got some chunky gold at one of my favorite spots of all time. My boys absolutely love it. And it's only about an hour and a half ride from home. Sure beats them four hour trips every morning. And uh, we got plenty of small gold along with that larger stuff. And whether it had anything to do with that alluvial fan area or not, who knows. But I did get more chunky gold today than I've ever gotten before. So let's see what happens when we go down there and uh, move 40 pails. I mean, we only moved four or five today. Who knows what could happen. Maybe we can get an ounce out of there. <laughs> Wishful thinking. So thank you guys for coming along. Until the next episode, like, share, subscribe. Please do leave a comment. It helps build our channel. Check out our Patreon page in the description box below. Flower Gold Wizards out. Ah, what a day. Let's grab one. Uh-oh, we're out. Well, so to speak. <laughs>